I know it's not going to mean much, but, uh, and I know you probably not even understand what I'm going to say right now, but, because I had nothing to do with really anything except for basketball. So, uh, was it last week or the week, I think it was the week before my, uh, my 12 year old Jordan, who's like, Hey, why don't you become a coach? And I'm like, well, I'm not, I'm not like an X's and O's dude. I'm really not. I mean, I know how to read plays and stuff like that. I get it. But I mean, I would have to actually do the plays over and over and over and over and over and over again in order for me to actually run them myself. Um, but I just know the way that defensive, the way the defense and offense goes, I can, I can understand it. It makes sense. And I, and and I can see it. It's like slow motion. But anyways, my son asked me, and I was like thinking about. It. I was like, I wish I could do that because I would I would implement the the triangle offense into uh, into the the kids' team, and and then I come to find out today that that's what they're running. And I'm like, ah. I literally was thinking that. And of course, it don't mean much now because I didn't put it on wax. So you know. Uh, just the way it is. Oh, see this shirt right here? This is a really, really old shirt. I actually, I used to wear this shirt, I think it was almost 10 years ago. Yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't, I wasn't able to wear it because I got so fat and, uh, it just wouldn't fit no more. And this is, uh, I think it's an extra large or a large or something like that. Anyways, but I was happy to find it because I was like, I love, I love the color scheme of it. Um, reminds me of the Orlando Magic back in the day, but it wasn't really, that wasn't really the reason, reason I liked it is because of the, the blue color. It's my favorite color. Um, as you can tell, well, you can't tell now because I'm wearing a gray sweatshirt now, but anyways, our hoodie, uh, but yeah. I, I really want, I really would like to be, become a, a coach, but not an actual coach. Coach, I like, I'd like to be. I would be like um, Phil Jackson in a way, the uh, the mental side of it all, uh, because I, I I know for a fact that that really really helps, and I remember watching a video once. I think it was like. Steve Kerr or something like that talking about like them having meditation ses sessions and, and that would be their practice because NBA you know they have a lot a lot of practices and their practices last a long time but uh um but yeah like I was thinking about that myself I was like that would be actually beneficial to to kids growing up uh to help them think about you know not just basketball but like life in general like this is just school. Um, it might not mean nothing when you get older, but it might. You never know. But it's where it starts is when you're young. You got to cultivate these um, rituals, I guess you want to say. Not rituals per se, but things that you do all the time. So that way you're preparing yourself for when you do get older. Um, and, you know, you're like, okay, well... I put everything in perspective. This is going right for me. This is not, and this is what I need to work on and blah, blah, blah. And that's how it works. But no one puts that in perspective when you're a kid because they're like, everything's happening the way that it happens. So every reaction is an action to the reaction. Um, because, you know, like kids at school, teachers, school, uh, schoolwork, uh, homework, tests, all that other stuff games, you know, sports, all that stuff. Like it all comes as a, as a, a moment in time, but it was, that's their, all their moment. Instead of realizing there's more moments, you just got to prolong it and you got to extend it out. And, uh, you know, whatever that moment is for you, that makes you the most happiest or intrigues your mind, uh, or makes your soul happy. You know, that's, that's the things you've got to pay attention to because then you know like this is what I want to do like yeah you might say I'm good at sports but realistically 
like if you compared yourself or even played against other people um, then you would know the difference of, of your play level and then you know you would be able to determine whether or not that's something you probably could do or something that you could work on knowing that you're going to get better at it you know <clears throat> that's just the way I look at it but you know life life brings you curveballs and and uh, I'm not going to say it I'm not going to say it but does life does bring you curveballs all the time and uh, you've got to you just got to go through them you got to go uh, through all of those experiences because that's what makes you you and uh, how you react to those experiences is going to determine who you're going to be because you know there's a lot of reasons to be uh, a douchebag and it might make you feel good uh, I, 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 I wouldn't know but I, I could tell I could tell you know some people are like I'm just this person this is who I'm going to be and no one's going to stop me or change me and that's great but, you know, if you're only the fan base of one, uh, you know, that's that's not going to help you in life. It might help you with other areas. Yeah, you might have this demeanor and, and people talk about, but that's that's about it. Who are you as a person? That's, that's what I look at it as because I care about that. I care about uh, not saying how people talk about me and all this because I don't listen to that, but... I care how I'm perceived because I want to be a good person. Um, so I want to show that I am a good person. So I'm just going to put it out there. And it, this all might not make sense to you guys. But if it does, I hope you guys can pass this on. If not, that's cool too. I, I just want the opportunity and I have it. So I'm not going to spoil it. I hope you guys don't either. I'm going to get ready for work here. Thanks for tuning in. And if you are listening, and you know who I'm talking about, no one in particular actually, but at well, anyone on the team, anyone on the team, you guys, any of you guys watch this, I don't care who it is, just, just think about your life. Now, take everything out and then separate it all, all of it, compartmentalize it all, all of it, and to say, okay, I'm going to attack this because I have this opportunity to attack it, right? And that's what you're going to do with every single thing. Now, of course, there's some things you're going to fail at, and that's life. But the things that you're great at or things that you know you're going to be great at because you're working at it and it seems to work for you, attack that. And that's how you how you adjust to life. But also, be a good person because that matters. Peace out, guys.